Uh, but now the sunshine is back out. Of course, we've got sunset here in just about 30 minutes or so, but we're enjoying that high pressure that has really built itself across the south central United States, and it's going to just stay here. It's going to block any other systems from coming through. Uh, some of the systems that we have, we even had a couple showers in the River Valley in central Arkansas yesterday. Those are now coming off towards the Atlantic coast. This system hitting the Pacific Northwest is just going to stay off towards our north. We don't have to worry about it as high pressure keeps us safe and not just safe from rain, but probably mainly safe from clouds too. Every day we're probably going to have a lot more sun than we're going to have those clouds. I think tomorrow morning we'll start with beautiful blue sky. There may be a few high clouds later in the evening, but then they're gone and we just go back to sun the rest of this week. So as we start your morning tomorrow, it's going to be chilly. I mean, we'll be below freezing but it won't feel all that bad because the wind's barely going to be out there. And that's the other story. The wind is really calmed down. Thank goodness. It's going to slowly come out of the south the next couple of days, but nothing too crazy. Not to make it just so breezy that you lose kind of the warmth feeling. You know, you step outside and it's windy and it doesn't feel as warm. But we're just expecting really nice weather tomorrow. I tell you what, going to be even better than it was today. Today felt nice when you're just in the sun and you're blocked from any kind of, of that wind and upper 50s, low 60s, pretty much area wide. Maybe closer to sunset, there could be a few high clouds, but otherwise we're not expecting much coming in our forecast. So we'll start in the 20s, northwest Arkansas. We'll head to the 50s. You're going to see a lot of blue sky as you're looking out your door. Lots of blue sky in the river valley as we should get to the low 60s. You're just going to notice the temperatures change. I have clear skies though tonight. You'll be able to easily see the stars this evening. So we'll be able to start in the 20s and then we'll warm up quickly to I think 50s by lunchtime and then a few of those high clouds will come in from Oklahoma. They're just very temporary. I still think we're going to get a lot of sun peeking through this. It may just add a little extra color to our sunset to or for your Monday evening. Otherwise, when you look at the seven day forecast, things are very quiet, barely a cloud in the sky anywhere for Tuesday and Wednesday. And notice the temperatures, they continue to go up. In fact, in Northwest, we may hit some 70s by Thursday. It's been a few days since we had some 70s. So if you don't have, I mean, if you still have some ice or sleet left over, you should be able to knock it out here soon. Shady portions are a little bit harder to do, but with that warmth, I think we'll be able to do it. And then as we come towards next weekend, that's our next storm system. To be honest, and there's, there's not a lot to talk about. Our next cold front will come in for Saturday and Sunday, and that'll give us a chance for some rumbles of thunder. But at this point, we have no clue really on severe threats or anything like that. We just know that any next time you're actually going to see substantial weather won't be until this upcoming weekend and it won't be frozen no thank goodness that's the best part of what about, we're looking at about this coming weekend it that's doesn't right. meteorological spring is that like tuesday or wednesday tuesday, or tuesday? Okay. march 1st so but march is coming in like a lamb this year it's so nice oh yeah it's so nice all right matt thanks well coming up we'll hear from our